Hi everyone! It is good to be here again. Wow, if you haven't noticed, like right away, my background is different. I have done some remodeling and I am very happy about it. I would do another apartment tour, but really the biggest change was my bedroom, which you're seeing right now. I put my tapestry back up. Um, cute, cute pillows and stuffed bears and moved my bookshelves a little bit, reorganized my books. Oh, it's the book nerd thing to do. So thank you for joining. I am very excited about today's blog post because it's actually relevant to what we're going through right now. It's about New Year's resolutions and February is the time, you know, word of mouth that everybody starts to kind of fall off those New Year's resolutions and just get back to, into old habits. So there's not a ton of background to it except that it was posted January 7th, 2022. Blog title, New Year, Old, New Me. Ever want to commit to a goal but get scared to because you're afraid of failure? You might think of all the people you'll tell about the goal and wonder what they'll think if you don't achieve it. Which reminds me of a 21 Pilots song. We don't believe what's on TV. It's like, hold on. What if my dream does not happen? Would I just change what I told my friends? Don't wanna know who I would be when I wake up from a dream or sleep. For real though, like, I've, I've definitely been like, oh my gosh, I told so many people I'm gonna do this. Back into the blog post. <laughs> you might think of all the people you'll tell about the goal and wonder what they'll think if you don't achieve it. I knew they wouldn't make it. They aimed too high on that one. How awkward for them. <laughs> By the way, I don't think people actually think this, but we think they think this. It feels embarrassing, disheartening, shameful. So the new year comes and people start to make resolutions. They make goals and you wonder if you should do the same. And if you decide to, do you share those goals or keep them secret? I used to make and fail my New Year's resolutions annually. Looking back on it, I'm not sure if I've ever succeeded at one. Regardless of if I did or not, the constant shortcoming of my ambitions never deterred me until after my first year of college. Up until that point, I believed I could achieve anything I desired. I would become a professional soccer player, Somehow, perhaps after I retired from my soccer career, I would be a journalist located internationally. I would write and publish a book that actually got read and I do all of that and manage to take care of a family. But when I served a mission in Canada, I had a few revelations. Family would need to come first in my life. I started to see that I can achieve all my goals and still prioritize my future husband and children. So I relinquished my professional soccer player dream. When I came back to the United States, I decided to move to Utah to surround myself with others who would also be pursuing similar values to mine, but I thought I would at least finish my athletic college career. But getting back into shape was hard. <laughs> getting trained was expensive. I could barely afford my discounted rent as it was. Bam, just like that, my competitive soccer dreams died completely. Soon after, I realized that as much as some families can make constantly traveling around the world work, mine might not. And over time, as more and more things came into play, my international journalism dream died. Then, eventually, the entire journalism dream sped out its last light. Dream after dream, dead and gone. I stopped making New Year's resolutions. If I never achieve them anyway, why try? I thought I would make mini goals instead, and over a year's time, attempt to accomplish them little by little. And although most dreams had left me, I decided I could still finish my final one. Right, 
I'd write a book and I'd write a blog. As I kept consistent, I imagined that I would gain a following one way or another. Then I could help others through these written works and finally, I would live my dream. Yes, I'd already proven so many naysayers right, but at least in one area, the one that the most, but still very few, people seem to believe I had potential in, I would end up proving the doubters wrong. You see, I never truly believed in shutting down the possibilities of what I could do. When I focused in on this dream, my actions changed and I finally became more consistent in writing. I published on my blog for a whole year. That was, if you've been following my YouTube videos, you've seen I was not very consistent at first. I wrote over half of my books first draft, which by the way, is now completed. I've completed two manuscripts. Everything seemed up except for engagement. Nobody cared about my posts. Nobody read them. And when the year ended and I felt I couldn't carry on by myself, I looked for support. I heard the same thing as always. I think you'll fail. <laughs> Embarrassed, disheartened, ashamed. So, new year, new me. Should I just completely change again? Get new goals? No, I'm going to keep trying. I'll set small new goals, but the big one's going to stay. I'm going to write. I'm also going to continue to share my goals because while others might think them naive, some might find them inspiring. Yes, those others have and will continue to say it's pointless, but here's the thing. When our goals do good for us and for others, we should not quit them easily. We need to embrace the embarrassment. Let our hearts stay light. Get confident, not ashamed. We may not change the world, but we can change the one. And if that one is yourself, I have a single thing to say. Well done. <laughs> wow. I did not expect to get emotional. <laughs> I haven't even been crying <laughs> lately. You know, I've been quite happy. <laughs> I really am grateful for the amount of people that have supported me because it could be zero and it could be far fewer than what I have. It's been great. However, it was hard to have sometimes people who were close to me just not seem to believe in what I was doing, not seem to see the purpose of it, especially if I'm not getting a lot of views, not, you know, in the thousands or the millions or whatever. Why do it? But it doesn't take thousands to make a difference. If you've ever had one person talk to you and just like say something that stuck with you or do something that helped you get like by that through that day that you never forgot, like that was that was one person helping one person, which helps, I don't know, enough. One is enough, even if that one is yourself that you're taking care of, because you matter too. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm also... I've also reorganized how I'm approaching New Year's resolutions this year and just kind of building upon my original idea of taking it in small bits and my goodness, it already has impacted me like so 
positively, I feel like it's a lot easier to keep my goals too. And so next year, 2025, I'm going to share with you, maybe at the even at the end of 2024, I'm going to share with you how I did my New Year's resolutions for the year and perhaps they can give you some new ideas on how you want to approach yours because man, life changing. Really like actually, literally, not metaphorically, life changing. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. If I hope you guys know how important you are. Sincerely, so important. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on doing good. We, we matter. Even if the numbers, the stuff on paper doesn't say so, forget it. You still matter. Okay, wow. Well, thank you so much for joining me that for that. And I love you all. Have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your week, a great rest of your hour, and I'll see you next time.